so now we are designing mod 6 counter using d flip flop as i told for jk flip flop we will have a present state which will be having q1 q2 q3 as the uh, present state and next state will be denoted as q1 plus q2 plus and q3 plus okay now i have present and next state and because i am using a d flip flop i will have only one input and what is that input will be it will be d1 d2 d3 now if you people remember the working of your d flip flop or the characteristic equation of d flip flop do you need to make application a diagram or you can simply do it what was the equation or characteristic equation of d flip flop or uh, uh, application table or excitation table of d flip flop is what when whatever your q comes and q plus comes let me write what i am doing here now is i am writing the application table i am writing the application table or you can say it excitation table i am writing application table of d flip flop 0 to 0 what is the, what should have uh, should happen zero zero only right so if q changes from 0 to 0 it will change only if your d is zero right if you want 0 to 1 what it should be one right see actually your d is equal to q plus only d is equal to q plus only now if it is 1 to 0 q plus will become zero not depending upon q it will depend upon d so because with a delay d equals to q plus so what will be your d then your d will be a zero only here and for last one it will be one what you can see is q plus is nothing but equal to d so this is what you have to understand in for jk flip flop you have memory set reset toggle so many things but for your d flip flop what happens your output is equal to input only with one clock cycle delay so q plus depends upon d input it does not mainly depends upon your present state q it depends upon d so whatever you want your q plus as should be the excitation input so this is what you need to understand for d flip flop of course t flip flop it's not like this t flip flop is struggling changing so anyway i will explain you t flip flop also i hope this is clear to you that for application table of a clocked d flip flop q plus is equal to d so whatever is q plus it uh, it is copied as d here okay and it does not depend upon your q basically so now that is why excitation table of flip flop uh, uh, excitation table of d flip flop usage is easy so what will be d1 tell me how will i write d1 what should i copy from where q1 bar q1 plus it is plus plus plus, plus. okay it is plus so d1 is equal to q1 plus so nothing to worry we have to simply copy this q1 plus column to d1 so let us copy uh, q1 plus is 001100 so it will co be copied as 001100 can you see i am simply copying this q1 now you will have to copy your d2 also like this only d2 is nothing but 3 times 1 Three times zero. Now D three, D three is copying Q three plus. So zero one zero one one zero. Right. So you got your D one, D two, D three excitation table without much difficulty. So because D one is equal, because D is equal to Q plus, it should be no surprise that the next state of the flip flop input is. Uh, flip, uh, the next state and the flip flop input is same okay so you should 
easily copy q1 plus 2 d1 q2 plus 2 d2 q3 plus 2 d3 because the functioning of d flip flop is like this only now as you have seen in jk flip flop in the same fashion we are supposed to get the equation of d1 d2 d3 in terms of what in terms of my present state now you please see this it is in terms of present state in terms of present state and that is nothing but q1 q2 and q3 right it is q1 q2 and q3 now you will see that because i don't have many don't cares here i the uh, the equations will not be that very simple okay now i want you people to make k map for this okay i want you to make k map for this how many k maps will come tell me i want three ma'am yes very good it will be only three k map so i will have my d1 d2 and d3 d1 i will do here d2 d3 next page so somebody should help me out and tell me the answer so q1 q2 q3 so 0 1 2 3 okay so what we, uh, table is here only what we can see for this one 1 and 1 for which one 3 and 6 right so we will write 3 and 6 3 and Six, three and six, right? And zero, zero for how many? For zero, one, then two, then what is this one? Five, right? So, what about four and seven? What should I do for four and seven? what did we do in jk flip flop because 4 and 7 is not there in my state table don't that care will now. Be, yes that will be don't care now how many grouping is possible here now we have to do two different groups that is 3 and 7 and 6 and 4 yeah we can do 3 and 7 and we can do 6 and 4 or we can do 6 and 7 also na no? yes i going to 6 and 7 also so now in this as you can see there can be two different answer somebody doing 3 and 7 surely will get one uh, um, uh, that student will get one same group but if somebody is do 7 and 6 different answer 6 and 4 different answer so no problem both answers are correct only so what is d1 d1 becomes for the horizontal row it is q1 q2 and for this vertical column this this vertical column it is q2 q3 right right now i want somebody to give me the equations for d2 and d3 also i will be changing the page and i want you to give me the answer for d2 d3 as you can see the equations are little bigger now because don't cares are less okay now for d2 what all is there zero is 1 3 is 1 and 2 is 1 okay uh 1 is 0 5 is 0 6 is 0 4 and 7 is don't care okay good let me copy as you have told one then there are there are three ones only na yes ma'am ma'am one is zero ha okay okay one is zero and three and two are one right mm -hmm. and five is also a zero and six, six is, also, is also, zero. also zero and two don't cares i have 
Okay, now grouping. Uh, three and two, zero and four. Okay, zero and four is fine. No other possibility. And of course, for zero and four, we could have also done zero and two also. So again, here also two types of answer will be there. Now, what is D two equal to? Q1 bar Q2 plus Q2, Q3, Q2 bar Q3 bar. Is it right? Yes, ma'am. Hmm. Okay. So it is Q1 bar Q2 and Q2 bar Q3 bar. So you can see you should be very well versed with your K-map. Right? Now let us get our last, that is D3. Yes, somebody should help me out here also. Uh, 2 is 1, 6 is 1, and 5 is 1. 2, 6, 5. 2, 6, 5. Huh. Uh, 0 is 0, and 1 is 0. Hmm. Rest are don't get. What about 3? Uh, 3 is also 0. Okay. 4 and 7 is anyway all the time. Don't, don't care. care. Okay. So now we should, for the sake of all the students, I am labeling also. Okay. What about the grouping now? Grouping. One nice group I am getting. That is a four ones group. And one this one, right? So D3 is... One is Q1. Q1. This row yeah. group is giving me Q1. Next. Q2, Q3. Right. Q2, Q3 bar. This one is giving me Q2, Q3 bar. You got all the three equations. So now can you make the circuit on your own? Or you want me to show the circuit? You will have your three flip-flops. You will have your three flip-flops and your three flip-flop will have your one output of, uh, sorry, uh, output will be two, that is Q and Q bar, Q and Q bar, Q and Q bar, right? Input will be only one, that is D, D1, D2, D3. And now you should make your clock, right? You should make your clock the way we have, were making for JK also. All the clock will be joined together, will be joined together with the count pulse. Count pulse. And C is the variable given for the clock. So my uh, flip-flop structure is ready. Now we should make. So for D1 it is Q1, Q2 plus Q2, Q3. So what will uh, come for my D1? One OR gate will come. My OR gate will come. OR gate will have Q1, Q2, Q2, Q3. So you can see the circuit can be little bit, uh, you know, um, cumbersome here. So you will have to make your circuit very carefully neat and clean. So Q1, Q2, one AND gate will come now for this. And if you feel that the circuit is becoming very, very dirty, then you can write here Q1, Q2 and your other gate, other AND gate will have your Q2 and Q3. You can show like this also. My diagram itself is not very nice, neat and clean. Please make better one. So your Q1, Q2 and Q2, Q3 and it and this is your D1. Now in same fashion, you can make for your D2 also and D3 also. Okay. So what do we have for D2? We have for D2, it is again a 
or gate right so you can make that and same way you can show that it is a uh, again two and gate is coming two and gate is coming and you can show your two and gate as q q1 bar and q2 so you can show here q1 bar q2 other one is q2 bar and q3 examiner will understand that why you are doing this to take care of your circuit dirtiness right so d3 is q1 plus q2 q3 again we have one or gate here again we have one or gate here and and that or gate is having one q1 here other one is and operation of two input that is q2 q3 bar okay time up no q2 k so now what i have done for using d flip flop you people have to do for t and sr flip flop you will get some help of t flip flop from the textbook sr flip flop in textbook also much is not given you will have to make your own if any doubt you can ask me always